conservation of energy pro problem, the roller coaster. In our example, the roller coaster is going to start with a speed of zero from a height of 70 meters. And the question has two parts to it. First of all, at this point, which I'm going to call point A, what is its speed as it goes over the top of the loop? And part B will say it goes over here. When it goes over a small hill, its speed is 30. And the question is, what is the height of the hill? Now, we need to use conservation of energy. So the first step is to find one spot where we can find the total energy of the roller coaster. At the very beginning, we know both its speed and its height. And that's good enough because the total energy is equal to the potential energy plus the kinetic energy. The potential energy is mgh. The kinetic energy is a half mv squared. Uh, if I put some givens in here, I can find that the total energy is 700 m plus a half plus zero. So that goes away. Now this, of course, is assuming that G I'm going to use as 10 meters per second squared, just to make things a little bit easier. So the total energy of this roller coaster is 700 M. Now M is not the unit, M is simply it's the variable mass, because I didn't tell you the mass of the roller coaster. For every kilogram of mass, there'll be 700 joules of energy. So if I wanted to put units here, technically I should really say 700 joules per kilogram. If I really wanted to have the units right, I'm just going to leave it as M because my M, I hope and I believe, is going to go away. So that's the total energy. Conservation of energy tells us that the energy here is the same as the total energy here. So if I look at part A now, I can do the exact same thing. Total energy equals the potential energy plus the kinetic energy, which means that 700 M equals MGH plus a half m v squared, v a squared, the speed we're interested in. Here I'm happy because my masses will all disappear. I rearrange a little bit, I get v a squared equals 700 minus g times 40 meters all times 2 and my speed works out to be 24 meters per second. Now to find the height of the hill, I do exactly the same thing. Basically, instead of putting HA and VA, I'm just gonna put in HB and VB. And I'll skip a few steps for the sake of speed. I can skip basically right to this line, 700 M equals MGHB plus a half MVB squared. Again, my M's will cancel out, and I'll end up with a height which is equal to 25 meters.